Hello everyone, this is Bill Stearns, NE4RD, with Linux in the Ham Shack. You can find us over at lhspodcast.info. We're currently on break, and that's kind of why I'm doing these videos, so I can find something to do with all the spare time I have instead of show prep. So here we are, we're on episode 5 of our multi-part series. And in this particular video, we're going to look at installing an Echolink client. I know a lot of people use Echolink, and I've had a, had a little bit of experience here recently using Echolink at the National Jamboree. So I want to install Echolink on here so I can uh, connect to the Scout Net that we have every month on, uh, on star joda-365 star, and also so I can connect into the other nodes that we have for Jamboree on the air that's coming up here pretty quick. So I'm going to install Qtel. And we're just going to check real quick to see if we have it installed. No, I don't think it's actually installed with the uh, Pure Blend packages. So we're going to go ahead and install it from the uh, app repository. We're just going to do a sudo apt install qtel. And it looks like it's going to install some new packages here. It looks like uh, basically some audio packages. So we'll go ahead and let it do that. That was pretty quick and painless. Now let's see if we got a start menu item. Yes, we do. We have Qtail right here. It's going to pop up with a configuration window here for the directory server and stuff like that. You do not need to mess around with this unless you have problems connecting uh, to the server. Most people can just use this as is. Sound, again, it's going to come up with AS, uh, ALSA and the default. And basically what this does is it kind of pipes it through pulse audio your default uh, your default uh, microphone your default speakers so you don't really have to change this as well if you manage everything through your your regular pulse audio controls which are going to be over here you know this controls your output this controls your input so if as long as you maintain your audio controls there you don't have to mess with this there are no drop downs so you do need to uh, you do need to uh, know a little bit more about your also configuration if you're actually just using also by itself without pulse audio um, I, I highly recommend not <laughs> and in this case we're using Ubuntu so we're, we're now we're using pulse audio um, QSO dialog settings this is just for any language settings I'm not going to change that so user info this is where you're going to put your call sign and if I could type my call sign properly it would be a lot better Bill Stearns Password is a password, of course. Oh, wait, no, it's not. But anyway, <laughs> Billings, Billings, Montana. And if you want to advertise the fact that you're running Echo Link for Linux, uh, Qtel, you can leave that in your info message or you can make this a, you know, a custom message. So we'll just leave it as a, a Qtel advertisement. So we're going to go ahead and hit OK. It should try to connect. And if you connect, you get the little happy face down here. Now, be mindful that Qtel is not is not for sysop or admin modes. Um, you can admin through, uh, through the text, the dot commands and stuff like that as you're connected to a server. But you can't link servers like in sysop mode. So this is just for, just for being a client. So we're going to go ahead and add a couple of bookmarks here. And you do that by uh, going to station, add a name, station to bookmark. Um, this works out great if you actually know which ones you're connecting to. Which uh, I know I ha always have these guys in here. Star Joda 365 star. And we'll add another one. We'll do star do drop in for the Ham Nation. Uh, the Ham Nation one I once in a while connect to. So those are the conferences I want. I think I want a couple of repeaters. We have a couple of repeaters here in the area that, uh, I don't know, I may want to uh, connect to. It's the uh, N7. Let's see here. N7YHE. Add name station to bookmarks, or add selected to bookmarks. We'll do that. And I can't remember what the other one is because it's not the actual call sign of the repeater. Um, so I'm not going to bother looking for it anyway. But uh, we'll just go ahead and test a connection and see if it works. Let's go ahead and connect to J 
Jambo, which we'll be using for uh, Jamboree on the air. And we also used it for National Jamboree. It says I'm connected. Generally, you get a little uh, continued message of uh, the server information. We'll just go ahead and let that catch up. And uh, something interesting you can do with Qtail here is that uh, you can connect to multiple servers at the same time, which is pretty interesting. So you can see here I got uh, some information for do drop in. I'm going to go ahead and run a test on uh, Jambo and see if we can uh, send a con uh, um, see if we can send a transmission. This is November Echo 4 Radio Delta testing on the Jambo conference node. This is November Echo 4 Radio Delta testing on the Jambo conference node. And we'll do the same thing on Do Dropping just to show that we're connected on both. This is November Echo 4 Radio Delta testing my connection. This is November Echo 4 Radio Delta testing my connection. So there we go. we we'll just disconnect off of those. So there we go. We have uh, both uh, able to connect to multiple conferences at the same time. We should be able to connect to repeaters without problem. I'm not going to connect up because I was just on it. <laughs> but uh, you can connect to repeaters. Anything else is, that is bridged via, via Echo Link. So pretty easy to set up. I mean, literally, we just uh, did the app get install or apt install Qtel. And we uh, put in our login information and we are good to go. So you too can also get on to Echolink pretty quick with Qtel. Now, if you want to connect servers together in sysop mode, you can look at the server component side of this. And I believe it's called SVX link. And that would be more for doing linking of repeaters. I'm not going to get into that on this because I'm really looking for just desktop applications and uh, client side applications. So this will be it for this video. We'll make this a short one and we'll see you in the next episode. 73.